Hey Brian, just want to show you how easy this starts. Uh, we're running about uh, 700 RPM, and that'll be about 650 when you're in gear. As you can see, it's rock steady. That's an electronic tap. Uh, now, this might concern you. Our oil pressure, according to the manual, needs, between, needs to be between 5 and 10 at idle. Now, I can back it down to where it's between 5 and 10 at idle. And it's supposed to be 16, uh, 25 at 1600. And it does not recommend the 40 PSI that you and I are used to seeing on our cars and have been used to seeing our cars for the last 40 years. And that's because maybe this is a 50 or 60 year old engine. So, uh, but this is what it's supposed to read at 1600 RPM. I feel more comfortable right here. The oil is maybe not as thin as it's gonna be when you take this guy out and you pour the coals to it and you pull your grandkids around on a tube and stuff like that. We got, uh, we've got we timed it by ear because there are no timing marks on this engine. The timing procedure is to put it in the boat, put it in the load, have a person driving, and you advance the timing until it starts to ping, and then you back it back down and lock it down. So that's our, that's our timing. It's pretty responsive. So we think we got the timing about right. We know we have the idle set right. Uh, and uh, if we put a new set of plug wires on it, and put a new cap and a new rotor on it, uh, as well as the electronic emission on the inside. Uh, I think you did ask me about engine mounts, and uh, this one is uh, actually failing today. So we didn't even tighten it down all the way. Uh, so that we wouldn't stress it. That one's going, just like that one back there is about to go. The ones on this side actually look okay. Yeah, both of these on this side look okay. Uh, but I would, thought I would mention the engine off here. We still don't have the new brushes in the, uh, this is just another generator off of another engine. Uh, and this is your bully. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Anyway, that's the uh, long and short of it. This guy's ready to go whenever you decide what you want to do about plywood, and I can get it in a house for you to pick everything up at the same time. It's been a pleasure. This has been a lot of fun. Thanks, Brian.